You know how that first call ended up? Me hanging up before anybody answered. I'm telling you all this to tell you that all this stuff is normal stuff. You know how that first call ended up? Me hanging up before anybody answered. I'm telling you all this to tell you that all this stuff is normal stuff. And it's all easy to break through all these little bit, these little fear barriers because you're just making excuses in your head and you're lying to yourself about all this stuff, right? You're, you're worried about rejection, looking dumb, don't know this, don't know that. Who cares about any of that? We're calling people to make friends with them. How many people are great friend makers? A lot of people. Right. And even if you're not, you really are. You just don't want to admit it. Right. It's like relationships. Right. There's somebody for everybody. And there's actually, I mean, truth be known, there's there's plenty of people that are compatible with each other. It's the same thing with real estate. Some people are going to love you. Some people are going to hate you. That's OK. You build off the people that love you. Right. So I made the calls. And I busted through that fear. I kept making them. You know what? I started having fun with it. It wasn't before too long and I was having a blast making calls. People were telling me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay here until I die. And I said, you're going to stay there until the building crumbles? People were hanging up on me. I was calling them right back and saying, I'm sorry, I think we got disconnected. <laughs> People were saying all kinds of weird stuff. And, and I, I it, listen. It was like I was prank calling them. As like, and I, and I got to a point where it's like, um, this is my job. This is way too much fun. Right. I was in there with my buddies. We called it phone call festivals. We'd get together three or four of us in a room and we'd just make calls for hours. All right. Phone call fest takes you back. I would make the calls and it took me eight long months to get to my first sale. My first listing. Eight months of making calls. My grandmother's condo. <laughs> May she rest in peace. She died last year. Amazing woman. But it wasn't from a cold call. But I did get a listing with the cold call. About the same time, I closed her condo and this condo at the same time. Right? So it takes time to develop. Look at William Patrick. Give it up for William Patrick. This dude did 14,000 calls till he got to his first listing. You, you, a lot of you guys quit when you get to 500, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000. What if you would have quit at 13,000? He wouldn't, he wouldn't be here. He wasn't going to stop until it broke through. He knew that every email he got and every phone call he made, he was getting better. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what it's all about. It's just about getting better. Quit. Focusing on the results and focus on you getting better at communicating. If phone calls aren't working for you, that's your problem. You need to get better at communication. Well, they hang up on me as soon as I say I'm a real estate agent. Uh, change your tone. Figure out how to communicate, how to connect quickly. They give you 1.4 seconds. 14,000 calls in, gets his first listing closed. What do you say, 40, 40 properties, $10 million worth? What? He's only a year, a year, a little over a year in the business. This is a brand new agent. Now, I have other agents that have, have it's happened a lot quicker. 3,800 calls in. I got a guy that did 3,800 calls, closed 20 properties within those 3,800 3, calls. You never know, and this is why you don't compare yourself to other people. I was telling this lady in the back, this young lady in the back, because I... Ladies and gentlemen, go for greatness. Now, the number one guy is right here, because here's greatness. Here's the number one guy. And then there's a bunch of people that are close to the number one spot, okay? So what does that tell me? Number one guy is in the middle. What's that? Average. The top guy, the number one guy is average. Why am I gonna compare myself to somebody that's average when I'm going for greatness? The only competition is you. 
And when you understand closings happen every day, business is unlimited forever, the only competition is you. There's an unlimited amount of loyal clients for each and every one of you. I sell the properties. I do well. Things start clicking. I start selling two a month. The market explodes. I make a million dollars before I'm 23. And then, boom, I thought I was the real estate gangster. I had Hummers and Cadillacs and houses and all kinds of stuff. Then the market crashed. And because I didn't understand this simple principle that closings happen every day and that I need to value my business on people, not transactions, I lost everything. Now, please hear what I'm saying. When the market crashed, I lost everything because I didn't understand closings happen every day regardless of market conditions.